Hey guys, it's me Curtis and today's video is one that I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to get out to you guys because I am very excited to be showing you guys this um, project today. This is something that I have built quite a few weeks ago that I just haven't shared with you guys because the first time that I filmed like, great my phone, the first time that I filmed like the overlay part or like, I don't know, the talking part like I'm doing right now, I was just talking way too much and I was editing out like every extra thing that I was saying and the video was like five minutes before I even got into how to make the wheel. So this wheel, as I said, for small animals can be used for animals such as hamsters, mice, gerbils, honestly anything that needs a wheel. However, I personally am going to be using this for my hedgehog. These wheels are extremely suitable for hedgehogs because they are super easy to clean and if anybody who has a hedgehog knows, they poop a bunch. So aside from that, you can also adjust the angle at which your pet spins since the base is made out of PVC pipe as well as you are able to um, change the sensitivity that your um, wheel spins at so you can make it like harder for the animal to make it spin or really easy for them to make it spin and yeah, there's just a lot of different things that you can do to customize this wheel to your pet's needs. quick disclaimer before I show you guys how to actually make this wheel. Um, if this wheel looks familiar, it's because it might be, and that is because this wheel is inspired very much by the Carolina Bucket Wheel, I believe it's called. So yeah, that's where I drew a lot of my inspiration from, as well as fiddling through some other DIY um, projects and things that people have made of the same wheel. Now I'm just going to list what you guys need for the um, wheel. So you're going to want one cake topper, and this is going to be the uh, actual like body of the wheel. And then what you're going to want is a nylon roller, or in my case, I used a pulley system thing that you guys can see on screen. However, I recommend using a nylon roller because they have bearings on the middle. Then you are going to want three quarter inch long six inch machine screws and the nuts that go with them. And as you guys can see, the pack on screen is green. So if I say green screws or green washers or something like that, that's what I'm referring to. And yeah, that pack comes with the screws and the washers. Four quarter inch nuts, two one and a half inch washers, a one quarter inch ring nut. As you guys can see though, mine came in a four pack because I couldn't find them by themselves. And then what you're going to want is a hex screw. Um, mine is three and a half inches by like a quarter or something like that. I'll leave it on screen so you guys can see it. So the materials you're going to need for the stand are um, at least 40 inches of PVC pipe, two elbow connector pieces, one three-way connector piece, and three um, like kind of capped off end pieces that you guys can see on screen. All right, so now getting into the steps. The first two steps that I did were optional, but what I did was I melted off that ugly rim that you guys can see on the cake keeper to make it look more clean and even, and then I also cut off the handles of the cake keeper because they were not doing anything for the wheel. But if you do not decide to remove either of these things, your wheel will function and act the same as it would if you did remove them. So now the third step is going to be to drill a quarter inch hole in the center of the cake topper. So there should already be like a hole marked on it. You can probably just go right through where like the center of the cake keeper is. A huge tip for um, doing this project, drill slow. Um, I'd rather, it's better to drill slow with more pressure than more pressure with a lower um, speed on the drill because this plastic can crack very easily and it did actually happen to me luckily. It was not a big crack but you still don't want to take your chances. So now what you're going to want to do is take your clothesline pulley or your nylon roller and drill four holes um, going around the center hole of the... Also this is probably easier for you guys to just follow on screen. I'm just kind of using my voiceover so you guys can know exactly like what screws and things I'm using and size drill bits. So now what we're going to do is take our nylon roller, push it up against the cake topper, um, align the two holes, and draw dots er, where our four holes are. And this is going to let us know where we have to drill our holes in our cake keeper. And that's exactly what you're going to do next. You're going to take um, a drill bit, the size will be on screen somewhere, and just drill holes through those four holes in your cake keeper. So now what we're going to do once we have our holes is realign the nylon roller with the holes in the cake keeper. We should now have 
five holes all together and what we're going to do is just take our small green screws and push them through the wheel and then secure them on the other end of the nylon roller with the corresponding washers I mean no not washers nuts once we have all four of our holes filled in with our green screws and secured with washers I recommend tightening it with a wrench because when your pet starts spinning on it it's going to cause pressure and it may loosen them and fall out so I really recommend tightening them with a wrench what we're going to do is put our three and a half inch hex bolt screw through the wheel so once your hex bolt screw is through the wheel all you're going to do is secure it on there on the other side with your four quarter inch nuts and then you're just going to put on your two washers and your wing nut and then your wheel is completed very super easy to make now i'm just going to quickly go through the directions of making the stand even though i'm going to try and cut back on details so you guys can just focus on what you see on screen but anyway, we're just going to cut our PVC pipes into the following sizes. Two 6-inch pieces, two 8-inch pieces, and one 12-inch piece. And then what we're going to do in the 12-inch piece, we're going to drill X amount of holes. I used five holes at various heights on the wheel. And this is what's going to allow us to put our wheel at different heights so that our pet can spin at different heights. And this is useful if you have like a higher amount of bedding or if you're using fleece so you want it closer to the ground. It's just a very good thing to have in a wheel. Now we're going to add our three-way connected piece to the bottom of that 12-inch piece opposite to the side that we just did the holes in. And then we are going to add our two 6-inch pieces into those two remaining sides of the three-way connected piece. Then we're going to add our elbows onto the, the ends of the 6-inch pieces. And then we're going to add our 8-inch PVC pipes onto the remaining ends of those corner brackets. And then finally we are just going to, we should have three exposed areas of PVC pipe with like a hole in it. And now we're just going to cover those up with the caps that we had earlier in the video. And that is it guys, I really hope I explained this very clearly, that's how you make the wheel in the stand. Now I'm just going to show you guys kind of like a time lapse with music of how to kind of put the wheel on the stand and all that good stuff. That is it for today's video guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy how learning how to make this bucket wheel as I think it will be very useful and does become very very cost effective compared to a lot of commercial wheels that you can buy. Let me know if you guys try this out and if you do you can share your pictures with me on Twitter and Instagram which you can also follow me at at Curtis Hussain and thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one.